Not bad, at least have a prowler on three. Start with an island, hold fading hoop. Jund land, okay. Well, we could found the third path. Mill a little, see if we can uh, play this out. We're gonna submit, we'll submit this, but we don't wanna actually play anything here. That's fine. Raven man, okay. Target myself. Mill land and invoke the agents, okay. Well, we wish we had a uh, sorcery to target. But we do not. Keep Invoke the Ancients down there. Potentially play it back with Lear. Third land. Relic of Legends. Okay. One man of any color. Tap an untapped legendary creature. One man of any color. Okay. That's kind of sweet. What else you got? Oh, goodness. Death Touch, Cleric, Drain. And that. Okay, Planeswalker Town. Well, we got some interesting things here. I would love to cast a copy. I don't have the mana to cast a copy, but that's fine. Decline. Interesting. Well, get in here for three. Uh, this makes our next enchantment cheaper. That's fine. You can probably deluge on their end step. Fourth land. Jodeth the Unifier. Okay. That is a lot of stats. Probably have to bounce Jodeth here instead of Memory Deluge. They tap both for Reality Chip, though. Good lord. I think we let that go. Whoa. So... They put it on the rest on the bottom of the library in any order. Okay. In a random order. That was interesting. Well, I guess we get to our deluge off then. Invoke the ancients. Fading, we really need land. Fading goes pretty good for a while though. We just keep bouncing Jota. At least one of you. Maybe invoke also. We need another green source. I guess we'll do it like that. We hit land. That's okay. Any enchantments we really want to hit, we could get that. Maybe we need Jota's land for now. We probably need to play Fading Hope this turn. So it's probably a Fading Hope plus Deluge turn. If that's the case, we can bounce Jota now. We don't really want to do that. We want to do that as soon as they move to combat. So we'll go no attacks here. And it's awkward because they just play a Legendary spell and then get this second effect anyway. But I think we have to bounce it and we'd like to get a Deluge off as well. Fifth land. Is this last card another Legendary card? It's another Jota. So they get their Jota Cascade. Fine. They get their free meat hook for zero. Okay. Exciting. Okay. When it wants to reconfigure there. That's fine. Two attackers. Just you. Okay. Well, pretty happy to bounce you. And we'll take our deluge. Reading ahead could be quite nice. More green mana quite be might be necessary. Take both those guys. Okay. We're actually doing something here. Probably cast you for pretty cheap. Bounce you for free. We probably need to save you to bounce Jota though, right? Maybe we don't do that. Maybe it's an Invoke the Ancients Hold Fading Hope turn. If that's the case, uh, we can still attack first here. I think that's fine. Sure. When it takes the trade, okay. No problem. And we'll invoke the Ancients and hold Fading Hope for the Jota. I think we take Trample here. Yeah, let's take Trample. Alright, Fading Hope ready to go for Jota once again. Jota returns, fine. Large creatures assembled.
Liliana, okay, some manual taps. That's unfortunate. Another Raven Man, that's okay. Okay. Well, we'll lose one of these guys. Enough with the mysteries. I've come answers. Ooh, each player discards a card, okay. Probably drop off this I'm land, I think. I think we drop the land here. Keep founding the third path around. Okay. And I think we go ahead and bounce Joda again. Jewel Thief. Alright, so Liliana's dead this turn. We can drop Lear, hold Fading Hope, which I think is probably what we're doing. We need to send both here. Okay, Liliana goes down. Play out Lear, hold a blue. Fading Hope's at the ready. More invoke the Ancients next turn. Joda returns, of course. They tap their legendary creatures, make a bunch of mana. Let's see if we're waiting for them to hit land here. At some point, they should hit land. But they have successfully just hit more legendary creatures every single turn. Another meat hook, not that scary. Okay. It's fine. We're fading hoping you again. Yeah, I think we go ahead and bounce Joda again. Okay, probably want to run back and invoke the agents. Here they come. When it takes it all, drops down to 10. We drop and invoke the agents, hold another fading hope. We'll take more trample. End here. And we might Fading Hope Joda immediately this time if we can. They cycle instead. Okay. They realize they need a little, something a little bit better. Now they land. That's not it. Sure. You can play Joda. Same issue as always. We're just going to bounce it. They get in for one point of Raven damage. That's fine. Okay. Bounce Joda one more time. Is that lethal or not? Bounding the third path. We can get a, a free bounce off of that maybe. Nope. Sweet. That was a weird game, but I'm glad we got there. Yikes. Not amazing. We can try it. Hopefully the opponent has creatures to bounce. Black. Alright. Invoke the Ancients is where we want to be, so that's okay. Swamp. Bank Buster. All right. We are not quite uh, in the matchup we want to be in, given our hand. When it takes the draw, fishing for land here, they don't get it. That is huge for us. And we hit a Prowler. Nothing in the graveyard, but that's all right. Get a little bit of pressure onto the battlefield, especially given the opponent has missed their land drop. They do have removal, though, it looks like. Infernal Grasp. No land. No land. Okay. Well, we'll take a nice little deluge this turn. Set up for Invoke the Ancients or Leer next turn. When it draws, they're looking for land. I'm rooting for them. But I'm not rooting hard enough, I guess. We do want one land. And we could take an Exploration or another. Memory Deluge is pretty good. Exploration's a bit cheaper. We'll just take the Deluge. Okay, opponent drops off an underdog. Has not scooped yet. We'll drop the first Ancients on them. Take Trample here in case they're running any low to the ground black creatures they need to run over. Third land, finally. They hit Liliana. Okay. We'll sack one of these. Take Liliana out. Enough with the mysteries. I've come for answers. Okay, sack one of you. Land is good. Allows us to play Leer and hold Fading Hope. Attack down the Liana. Stuck on blue. My bad. No snakes can veil. Goodbye. 
<laughs> That's my bad. Okay, now we hit the next blue. Let's start here. We can take one exploration. We want to kick it. I think that's fine. Still have four mana open for a deluge. Let's see what else we can draw here. Definitely take the Invoke the Ancients. I don't know if we need more exploration. Okay. Get in there for four. Opponent drops to 12. Another Invoke the Ancients. Another Memory Deluge. Ready to go. Another Liliana returns. Fine. Nothing we can really do about that. Something suspicious is going on. We could take the scribe if we really wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and Have take our deluge now. Personal space? Horror is good. Land is okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, we could drop horror on end step. We'd really like to kill Iliana though. Enter. So play horror on end step and then um, try to attack Liliana down. That's the plan. Take the draw immediately. His opponent's still stuck on land. Pretty rough for them. We're going to need to get through that token for the horror. Opponent pluses. That's fine. Probably drop off one of the many fading hopes. All right. Drop the horror. Okay. Let's see if they attempt to remove it. Very expensive march. Wow, they exile their entire hand. Uh, yeah, we just bounced though. Bounce token. Okay, run it back again this turn. Still have one more open, so we'll end here. Fourth land, two cards left over. One of them is Invoke Despair. Okay. Now we could go Holebreaker, bounce that. I don't think that's what we want to do. So I think we'll just eat it here. A plus, probably drop off the Creeper. You won't be outsmarting me. Creeper goes down. All right, here comes the Horror. Do you want to bounce anyone? Go bounce the bank buster. I don't think we really even want to do that. We could probably just want to um, attack down Liliana. You just what play Deluge this turn instead. Favors the foolish after all. Play Liliana again. I think we'll just bounce that. Scoop. Yeah. There you go. Not bad. Looking at a turn four, invoke the ancients. Blue white. Blue white Delver. All right, let's go. Well, we'll definitely start with blue here. Old fading hope. Don't flip. Okay. Planes. Maybe we just eat one here. Down to nineteen. Second Delver. Okay. I think we wait till they flip. More fading hopes. Not bad, actually. Can drop another island. Keep our options open. Move safety. Huh. Yeah, we can bounce one of these now. That's fine. Don't think we need that. Let's see if opponent can flip. They do not again. Okay. Feels good. Third land. They must know we have the second Fading Hope at this point, but that's fine. Down to 18. Storm Chaser Drake. Okay. We could bounce that now. Slow him down a little bit. We don't have removal anyway. I think that's fine. Let's see if they want to spend a card now. Okay, march it out. Sure. One is almost completely out of cards now. Jewel Thief here. Now, because we played second blue on two, we actually won't have enough green to invoke the Ancients white on four. When it finally does flip, they have Fading Hope ready. Why 
Wax is for five, down to 13. Who we'll you? Not relevant currently. Can't invoke the ancients. So it's just a deluge turn then. Might as well attack. Okay, opponent drops to 14. We're hoping invoke the agents can get there. Two reach creatures could be enough to block them for a bit. They will have fading hope on one of them though. Yeah, we could try to dig into uh, another fading hope. It's possible. Land is okay. We have plenty of land though. I think we take at least you and I guess more green. Five more damage down to eight. Fading hope on you now. Okay. Zero to the top. Leer's okay. Let's just a flashback invoke the Ancients. Well, we gotta go for this now. Let's see if they have a counter spell. Reach it is, for sure. They're gonna have... I guess they already burned their Fading Hope. We'll see if they have more ready to go. Shore up. Make the Drake bigger. More importantly, draw for another card. Okay. Combat research. Okay. Draw a card. Another land. Do we get a turn off? We do. That's quite huge. Drop an island. Probably dropping a Leer here. Try to flash back and hook the Ancients again next turn. Leer lands. We have Fading Hope at the ready. No attacks. Holding defensively. We should have been the long game at this point. Combat research again. They're hunting for answers, but... Might not get it. They want a really nice phase out, but we have the Fading Hopes ready as well. Okay, two attackers. My turn, nice. I don't think we need to bounce anyone. They don't have removal for Leer, um, but I still don't think it's necessary. Okay. What I'd like to do is drop and invoke the agents on them. I think we're pretty safe to play you out. We're doing this before combat, just to make sure if they're gonna counter it, we won't attack. We'll take more reach. And I think we're safe at this point to Attempt this. Okay. When it drops to six now, we have two Fading Hopes and a Joint Exploration at the ready. Probably won't explore this turn. Probably just hold Fading Hope to the very last minute. And they scoop. Okay. Two lander, but we have a couple turns here to hit third land. If we do, we're doing okay. Tap land or Orzov by the opponent. We hit that next land. Feels pretty good here. Let's start with Force. Sometimes you need to prioritize playing green mana to make sure you can't invoke the Ancients on 5. Potentially 4 with Jewel Thief. We'll see how the lands work out. Underdog hits the battlefields. Okay. We draw a Creeper here. Could trade with the Underdog, but probably keep it around to ramp. Third land. Okay. They choose to remove it now. I wasn't planning to trade. Would have kept it around. Try to guarantee a early invoke the Ancients. Cult Conscript in Orzov. We'll drop you, probably play the Jewel Thief. Allows us to invoke the Ancients next turn if we hit another land, a green land specifically. There are no sorceries down here yet, right? Yeah, so let's go do it like this. Treasure token acquired. Fading hope at the ready as needed. Fourth land. Two attackers. I think we just take three more here. We actually can trade, but we don't really want to. Let's go no blocks here. We have a good vigilance attack on the way back, and again, we could top deck a green land here and go invoke the Ancients. Okay, opponent right of Oblivion is that away. There'll be more removal to come, that's fine. Then we let that go. Okay, my turn. Blue mana, not what we needed to see there. Could drop a Leer with right of Oblivion ready to come. Let's just go ahead and get another Jewel Heap down. Set up for invoke the Ancients. And end here, that's fine. We have Fading Hope if we really want to bounce the Jewel Thief against another Rite of Oblivion, but I don't know if that's necessarily what we need to do. Might just keep it around for Leer instead. Two attackers. Do we want to trade this time? It's getting close at this point. I think we take one more round, because we're going to have some great blocks coming up. And the Vigilance Attacker could be good. Down to 11. Soren. Okay. We'll probably bounce the token then. Consider they plus instead. Fortune. Okay. Invoke Despair. Dire Interesting. Do hit green, finally. Well, I think it's going to be an Invoke the Ancient's turn. Leer the following turn. Trample or Vigilance is the question. I think we can go one Vigilance, one Trample. 
Let's do it like that. Go ahead and attack you down. Okay. Enter. Let's see how the opponent wants to respond. Take another plus. Digging for an answer here. They take a graveyard trespasser. They play it out. Okay. Strip you. That's fine. Bouncing the underdog isn't bad here. Guarantees we take out um, Tress, uh, the Soren. We almost have lethal, honestly, with Leer. We can put that away, I think. Yeah, I don't think we need that right now. Not quite lethal. I don't know if they can recover. If we play Leer now. Trample can go here. Vigilance can probably go face. Jewel Thief can probably go face. I think we can do it like that. Let's see how they want to play it. They decide to trade there. Okay. Down to eight. Soren is down. We have Fading Hope at the ready. Scoop. Yeah. Pretty strong board state on our side. Welcome to the post-game deck tech. Simic is... So, so, it's missing a couple tools right now. I really miss the 4-mana 3-4 turtle, which helps ramp you. That was nice. It put a body on the battlefield and helped ramp you at the same time. We're missing that a little bit here, but the core of this deck is around Invoke the Ancients. 5-mana, uh, drop two four fives onto the battlefield, which can completely stabilize and also put a lot of pressure on your opponent. To support that, we have ramp in the form of Jewel Thief, sometimes Cemetery Prowler, if you can pick off a Sorcery from the Graveyard, Root Coil Creeper, and even the new Growth Spiral Joint Exploration. Two mana instant. Scry two, then draw a card. If the spell was kicked, you can put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Not quite good, as good as Growth Spiral, but does play really well with things like Clear, where you can flash it back later to keep drawing cards and ramping. Or even Holdbreaker Horror, so you can keep drawing into more spells to combo off and bounce your opponent's thing. So, I liked it. I'll be curious to see if anyone can find a, a build where this is really powerful, but it was just fine today. Founding the Third Path is something cute we're trying out. It is a two mana enchantment saga with read ahead. Uh, phase one, I didn't get to pull off once today. Um, you can cast an instant or sorcery with mana value one or two from your hand without paying its mana cost. That'd be great if you could hit uh, Founding the Third Path on turn on two and then play a free joint exploration. That'd be pretty sweet, but didn't happen today. Then you get to mill four cards, which fuels the graveyard four layer, even potentially milling and invoke the ancients into the graveyard, where then you get to phase three. Exile sorry, instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, copy it, you may cast the copy. You do need to pay the mana cost for that, but if you can successfully ramp up, then on turn four, you can potentially play back Invoke the Ancients from the graveyard, which is a strong play. So that's the deck. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment letting me know what you want to see next. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.